It's about damn time. Hello, everyone of YouTube. Danger the Mysterious here. And welcome to the finale of Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. Thank God! After almost two years, no joke, two forsaken years since I started this LP, it's about that time where I end this off right now. Let's go ahead and get this over with. I'm saying this like it's a bad game, well, really it's not, but still, two years? That's such a long time, people. A very, very long time. So, let's use a simple, I mean, let's just use a missile on that door and let's face our final boss. As he slowly, slowly crawls over to you. Meet Mecha Ridley. No, not Meta Ridley. Mecha Ridley. So, what you want to do is start dodging his claw when he raises it by jumping. You're. On the left side of the screen this whole time, and you want to shoot the outer core with your missiles. It'll occasionally back up, and it'll either do nothing, or shoot fireballs at you at either direction. Either near the ceiling or the floor. And you want to keep jumping to dodge them. After you destroy the outer core, you have to destroy the inner core now. And he'll use a different attack in which he'll shoot lasers from his eyes. Keep using that same strategy. He'll also try and shoot missiles from the back of him. Once you destroy those, you'll get missile replenishment and energy replenishment and whatnot. And boom! Not that hard of a boss fight at all. And I get energy back as a reward. Thank you. But we're not done. We will now have five minutes to escape. And you better be quick about it too, because it's gonna blow. Since the hatches will be locking you in, you need to have alternate pathways to escape. Space powers will come in at you no matter what, unless you destroy them. And once you go in the next room, the door behind you will be locked at all times. So yeah, you're never going back. You have to keep going. Let's go through the small tunnel, and I just got electrocuted yet again. Damn it. Electric balls of electricity. Move it, you slow droid. Can't you see I'm trying to escape here? Alright, that's done. Now go up, destroy more space parts because I feel like it. Might as well use super missiles because why not? It makes things much faster. Go down. There are electric balls instead of those space parts for some reason. Instead, they're waiting for you down here. They won't move until you move. 
And when they move, my god, do they come at you to no end, shooting lasers non-stop and lunging at you. And it's really hard to keep track where they'll shoot so you can dodge them. Or where they'll lunge at you so you can dodge those too. But once you destroy one of them, it's not much of a problem. Just keep dodging the lasers and the space parts themselves and you'll be fine. Eventually, once you destroy both of them, the hatch will open so you can ride on the space pirate ship instead. Why? Because Samus' gunship is destroyed! And you better get out of the way! I'm making my escape! And with that, the mothership is destroyed. And that is the end of the game. For real this time. And yeah, this is actually a quick episode for a finale. There's a staff correct already, and it's already about six and a half minutes in. So yeah, that was Metroid Zero Mission, a remake of the original Metroid on the NES, and I gotta say, it is a really great remake. If you don't have it, and you have a Game Boy Advance, you might as well try it out. And sure, I didn't get all the items. I'll get to those eventually. But for now, I'm ending this playthrough off here. I'm doing this just to get it over with, alright? I don't want to keep you waiting any longer. But... I believe the damage has already been done. Seriously. Two years until I actually end this LP off. That's just unbelievable. And there's that Chozo sculpture or whatever. And if you look closely, you can see, assumingly, the drawing of Samus Aaron. And the two Chozos. And if you beat the game on normal and you didn't collect all the items, you'll get this image. It'll show you the final results and how much time you've done to clear the game, and how much of the items you collected. So guys, that was my let's play of Metroid Zero Mission, after about two years. I'm Danger the Mysterious, and I'll see you next mission.